morning, Paige. How are good you Good morning. I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Shiloh Johnson with everydayfamily.com. We're a pregnancy and parenting website. Wonderful. Um, and we wanted to talk to you today a little bit because this week is National Thinking Week. Yes. And there has been a new study that says that two in three homeowners are planning a painting project in 2013. Um, would you mind telling us a little bit about this survey and what sort of changes people are making to their homes this year? Well, isn't that exciting? People it are is. wanting to paint, finally! <laughs> um, and paint color, not just paint, not just paint like taupe, but actually yes. paint color, <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, it's great news. It's music to my ears, and I'm so happy that, you know, all of these design shows over the years have had such an impact on, on people. Well, it all started with trading spaces. In my opinion, yes, that well, was my first. In my, in my opinion, you are right. I do think that um, Trading Spaces was a huge catalyst, uh, certainly mm -hmm. for that genre of television, but yes. I think also to sort of get people up and realizing that they can think outside of the box when they're decorating their home. Exactly, exactly. Now, how can homeowners use something as simple as color to transform their home? And do you always recommend using a primer when we're do using color, bright colors, or can we skip that step? occasionally well sometimes there are paints that have primers in them so you oh. can skip skip that step but every project is is different I would never give a blanket answer okay. to a question like that I think always best to you know talk to a person at a home improvement store talk to the person who's selling you the paint and tell them what project you're doing what surface you're painting and mm -hmm. they'll be able to guide you in that way but there are so many different ways that you can use color to brighten your home Paint is a great way, and you know I've teamed up with Sherwin Williams to tell people all the great ways that they can use paint. You know they're just ex as excited about this survey as me, of course, because they I'm love sure. that people are wanting to do color in their homes. So it's it's really great. I mean, now, painting your walls is an easy, easy way, and it's obviously the most cost-effective. You get the yes. most bang for your buck if you paint your walls. Definitely. Well, and, and there are other things you can paint. I know my husband and I are considering painting our old bathroom countertops and, and cabinets because I they're love Formica. That. That is, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's fantastic because, yes, I mean, nowadays, in a way, we've, we've come so far with design that painting walls is just could be boring. Like, you got to paint yes. something else. <laughs> like, you know, you can paint, like you said, um, your counters or uh, pieces of furniture. Or yeah. sometimes if, if you're timid, you might just paint an accent like your trim or mm -hmm. a banister or something like that. Now how about painting ceilings? I've always heard pros and cons to that. Yes, the ceiling is the fourth wall to your, or the fifth wall to your house or to your room. Um, so you're, you're in agreement with it. Do not neglect the ceiling. Um, <laughs> you know, sometimes a really great tr trick to painting a ceiling if you're a gun shy mm -hmm. is say you've chosen a, a color on a strip um, and it's, you've like chosen the fourth one down. For the ceiling, just pick the first one on the strip, the lightest. Ah, so, that so that way it's still in the same family and that's same right. general hue, but a little bit, not, not quite as in your face. That's exactly right, Shiloh. And then Perfect. the light is bouncing correctly, so you don't have this stark white. A stark white ceiling can also work, but it should be a choice, not a gotcha. neglect. Mm -hmm. Now, our site, everydayfamily.com, is obviously a pregnancy and parenting website, so we have a lot of our members that are currently pregnant. Um, do you have any tips or advice about painting while pregnant? Are there certain products that have lower fumes or non-toxic that they should be using? Well, I, 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 I'm working with Sherwin-Williams, and I happen to know that they do have uh, eco-friendly paint. Uh, Harmony, oh, this perfect. one here, it, is that. And anytime you have questions about that, you can go to ftc.gov. And FTC. all of the information and regulations are there. And then you can check when you buy your paint and make sure that they Perfect. meet and exceed those regulatory demands. Perfect. So um, with this being National Painting Week, why is this specifically a good time for homeowners to tackle their painting projects? Well, this is the second annual National Painting Week, and it's a really ah. great time. Uh, one, because it's spring. I mean, let's face mm -hmm. it. If you're going to be painting a buffet in your driveway, you don't want it to be winter or in the you know hot yeah. heat of <laughs> August. Um, temperate. Uh, weather is a great time to make change. It makes shopping easier. It makes everything easier. True. And a great time to, um, to start with National Painting Week is that you can go to nationalpaintingweek.com. All huh. during this week, you can go on the website, and all these bloggers are writing about their projects and what they did, and that oh, can really awesome. help give you inspiration. 
Yes, yes. That sounds like a great place to visit. It's um, wonderful. Okay. Well, and is there, are there any tips that you can offer people that really just, um, you know, they're just they're dragging their feet, right? You know, <laughs> we've been talking about doing this for the last year. And yeah. it, how do you just get off your bum and do it? It can be really difficult to get started. It's one of those easy things to procrastinate because it's not urgent. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's urgent, but it's easy for people to not think that it's <laughs> urgent. You know, sometimes just creating a mood board like the one that I have here, this is a really great example of how you can create your room on a small scale. And sometimes mm -hmm. when you can visualize it, when you can see the end vision in yes. the future, it's much more easy to get started. Um, it alleviates yes. the frustration about how is it going to come out, will I like it? You know, you start putting the textures together, things that you like. Say you love the ocean, you know, this is a perfect mm -hmm. way to get the blues and the greens together and the different the textures <laughs> of the rope and the starfish, and then you'll feel inspired. Perfect, perfect. And one last kind of fun question. Are there any trending colors specifically this time, you know, this year that are going to be fun and you're going to be seeing a lot of? Uh, you know, mint green is a very trendy color right now. It, it actually acts as a neutral I mean, hmm. you can put red with mint green, you can put orange with mint green, you can put wow. blue with mint green, uh, so that works well. But although I say that, I hesitate to lead anyone in the direction of just going with a trend. It's, it's not like fashion. You know, hmm. you can just buy a you know, cheap top at H&M or whatever and you wear it for a year and it doesn't matter. Also, you wear a different top every day. True. Your so home, you, you your go mood. to every day. And so, you know, if you don't like greens, don't paint your home green. You know, blues <laughs> are every color of the rainbow is in nature, and your home should rise up to meet you. It shouldn't rise up to meet the trends that are out there somewhere, right? You're the one who has to I like that it. advice. That's great advice. Well, thank you so much for talking with us and sharing with our members. And I know you mentioned a couple websites there. Was there any, is there anywhere else that we can go to get more information on all this? Oh, well, sure. I mean, HG, HGTV has great, you know, websites you can go to and check out all the, you know, design things. HomemadeSimple.com is a great place to go. I have a show called Homemade Simple, and we put uh, the directions and uh, supplies oh, and everything you need to know for every single project we do on the show. So that's a simple really great place like, to go to. So. <laughs> what? I'll be sure. To, I said simple. I like. So I'll yes, be sure to yeah. check that out. <laughs> Everybody likes simple. <laughs> yes. Well, and especially when you have, you know, either you're pregnant or you have a toddler running around and mm -hmm. simple is very important. So. Yeah. Well, you know, that's something to keep in mind, too, especially if you've got toddlers running around. You know, don't think that you're going to do your whole home all at once. You know, just mm -hmm. tackle what you can and get to what you can when you can. You know, no okay. nothing has to be done all all at once. It's better to go slow because you might change yeah. your mind along the way. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Well, thank you so much. It's been really great talking with you this morning, and uh, I hope you have a great afternoon. Thank you, Shiloh. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.